Welcome to the first steps of your financial life. I want to give you guys some core principles of what this course is going to be about and what this school is going to be about. But before we get into that, I need to tell you about why I've done many of the things that I've done in my life. I grew up extremely poor and I came up with this great idea to start companies so I can get stuff wholesale for personal use. This desire, this concept literally drove the whole process because when you're poor, you want a lot of stuff, you see people with nice stuff, you, you just want it, but you can't get it. In my childlike mind, I decided to form a business for the simple practice of getting wholesale pricing. And this is one of the things I did, which also led to me getting in the storage auction business because my dollar would go so much further than if I bought new. And through all of this desire that came from a space of lack, and I didn't understand that I was moving myself towards a abundance mentality. And it was something that kind of happened without me realizing it. So the first principle of the school is manage money, make more money, not save, not become pathologically cheap, but manage money, make more money. Those are the two core philosophies of the school because just saving for the sake of saving, you'll lose money due to inflation and other eroding factors to the dollar. So you need to also accelerate your income, which is something we'll discuss later in the course, manage your money, make more money and accelerate your income. These are the foundational philosophies of many things that you'll see, many things you'll experience, and they're going to be very, very different from a lot of the advice that you will see out there because I've seen people who have <laughs> disparaged Grant Cardone. I love Grant Cardone. Don't be like Grant Cardone. Don't be like Gary Vee. But many of these people who are really successful, did exactly what Grant Cardone and Gary V said, work hard and then practice delayed gratification. My only problem with Gary V, and I'll say it clean, if I met him, I'd say it to his face, is you had a tremendous head start, but everything else is legit. And that head start made a huge difference. And this is another foundation that we're gonna talk about in this course, setting up your kids to experience financial success. We're going to talk about many of the things that you should be doing as a parent and saving money for college is not one of them. I know that's very, very controversial. If your child is able to start a business at 16 years old and let's say it takes 10 years to become a millionaire, your kid's 26 years old, your kid is very young and your kid has the ability to live a long and fruitful life because this is something else you didn't know. Rich people tend to outlive poor people. Let me say this again. Rich people tend to outlive poor people. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy good health. It can buy great food. It can buy a great neighborhood. It can buy a proper education. It could provide a lot of things. I would say it's right up there with oxygen. Essentially, what I want to give you guys are things that have worked for me over a course of decades. This isn't something that just worked for a year and petered out. Let's take the one of the courses. One of the courses is why you should buy name brand stuff. And this is a philosophy. It's not just about buying name brand stuff just for the sake of buying it, but it's a fundamental philosophy that I derived from my storage auction days because I learned something. Let's say I got this shirt at Walmart paid 20 bucks for it. I'm not going to be able to sell this for much more. Let's say the same shirt, Gucci. It was made by Gucci. Same exact sir, same design, but it was made by Gucci. I was probably spend 300, 400 bucks, but I could sell that for 200, 300. Or in the case of Bathing Ape, I could sell it for more than what I paid for it. Mind blowing, I know. So we're going to get into these core philosophies of why you should buy name brand and you should disavow cheap stuff. You should disavow these things because they don't help you in your quest for a fulfilling, 
happy, well-organized financial life. So those are the foundations, and we're going to get into some more advanced stuff. We're going to get into some things that I've never discussed here on YouTube. Like, I've talked about accelerated income, but I never really got into it. We're going to talk about some kind of esoteric money management systems because, once again, there's going to be four or five tiers to this school, and it's going to be something for everyone. Like I said, I've had, I've got millionaires who watch this channel. I know this for a fact. And I, I, until this new school came, I didn't really have anything for them. Wherever you are, like the first course is for the common man. Four payments of a hundred bucks, I'm probably not ever going to change that. So you can go ahead and get yourself a good basic understanding of finances and making money. And then you can move to the next level. And then you can move to the next level and you can move to the next level because what we're going to do here is going to be life changing because these principles, they changed my life. <laughs> they changed the life of my child. They are solid, but they're not common. And I'll give you a great example. How many of you have heard of Ray Dalio? The last few years, people have been laughing at him because he said it, even wrote a book about it, these economic boom and bust. And he put his money where his opinion was. And his fund, Pure Alpha, is up 15% while other people are losing money. 15%. And we're in a recession. Let me get this really clear for you. We're in a recession. It hasn't spread throughout the economy yet, but I guarantee you it's going to happen. And by employing these simple yet hard to execute concepts, you could prepare yourself to go through the three stages. The first stage is financial freedom, which means you free yourself from working set hours. The second stage is rich, where you make 10 to 20 times average income. So if you achieve stage one and it's stage two, then stage three is all but assured if you practice practical, sound money management tips. You can get rich. And it's a travesty because much of the financial education out there and the financial advice isn't designed to make you wealthy, isn't even designed to make you financially independent. It is designed to keep brokers and some of these hedge funds in business because these commissions are obscene. And this is where most of your profit goes paying their commissions. I feel that the best way for you to experience, let's say, let's say you, you only get to financial independence, which means that you make more than enough money to live, but you don't have to work a job. That within itself can change your life. And then you get to the point where you're making 10 to 20 times average income, which is 32, it's 28 to $32,000 per year per individual. That's life changing. You're not even a millionaire. And that is life changing. And then stage one, stage two, and you get to stage three, you prepare your great grandkids to have a wonderful financial life once you reach stage three. So that's it. Uh, you can go below, you can enroll in the course. The first block of the school is going to be done this week. My goal is to get it done by Sunday. Then we're going to move into phase two. And my goal is to get that done next week. Then we're going to move into phase three, which is $3.99 per month. And everyone that is in H undergrad, you are automatically enrolled in that if you've paid your monthly payment. And I think there's a few people who've paid in full, so you will get it as well. And then we'll get into these other things. Uh, the way that I'm gonna do this is one thing at a time until I get it finished, and then you could just come in there, get the information, then scale up.